What was radicalizing, very shocking and very disturbing for me was the city of Moscow, where I'd never been, the biggest city in Europe, 13 million people. And it is so much nicer than any city in my country. I had no idea. And now it is so much cleaner and safer and prettier aesthetically. It's architecture, it's food, it's service than any country in city in the United States. You're right, Carlson. Moscow has a spectacular design and transit system that can rival any city in the world. Did you know that Moscow, the capital city of Russia, is home to one of the world's first driverless trams, a system so advanced it can navigate chaotic city streets without a human driver? While cities around the globe are still testing autonomous cars, Moscow has already launched this groundbreaking technology on its tram network, connecting millions of residents daily. September 5, 2024, this date marked a pivotal moment in urban transit, as Moscow began testing its first-ever driverless trams with passengers on board. This groundbreaking step is not only transforming public transit in Russia, but also reshaping how cities across the world are designed. But how does it work? How safe is it? This video dives into the incredible story behind Moscow's driverless trams, a project that could change how cities move forever. Moscow's journey toward automation in public transit started in 2023 with a vision to revolutionize urban mobility. The Driverless Transport Research and Development Center, operated by Moscow Metro, spearheaded this initiative. Partnering with global technology leaders like NVIDIA, Siemens, and Yandex, they began developing an artificial intelligence, AI-based control system tailored for trams. The project had clear objectives, increase safety, improve operational efficiency, and reduce human error. Traditional trams already play a significant role in Moscow's public transport system, carrying millions of passengers annually. However, city planners aim to enhance this infrastructure to match Moscow's growing population of over 12 million. The first testing phase, launched from May 23rd to August 29th, 2024, en route 10, covering over 800 kilometers. Without passengers on board, engineers focused on evaluating critical functions like automatic speed regulation, obstacle detection, and emergency braking. By September 2024, the second testing phase began, allowing passengers to experience the autonomous tram for the first time. Though the AI system handles operations, including acceleration, braking, and door management, a human operator remains on board for safety oversight. Full driverless operations are expected to roll out by late 2025. The tram, named the Lvionok Moskva, is equipped with cutting-edge technology. It uses four LiDARs, six cameras, and three radars to monitor its surroundings in real time. These sensors enable the tram to navigate complex urban environments, anticipate obstacles, and adjust its path accordingly. Engineers estimate the system can process over 1,000 data points per second, ensuring accurate and timely decision-making. This level of automation offers significant advantages. Studies show that human error accounts for nearly 75% of accidents in traditional public transport. By relying on AI, Moscow's trams are designed to minimize such risks. Moscow's public transit system is one of the largest in the world, comprising buses, metro lines, and an extensive tram network. The introduction of driverless trams represents a crucial step in integrating automation with existing infrastructure. The autonomous trams are strategically designed to complement Moscow's metro system, known for its efficiency and connectivity. Tram stops are closely aligned with metro stations, allowing passengers to switch between modes of transport seamlessly. This last-mile connectivity is crucial in a city where over 16 million daily journeys depend on public transport. The shift toward driverless trams is expected to have substantial economic benefits. Initial projections suggest that automation could reduce operational costs by up to 15%, primarily by eliminating the need for full-time drivers and optimizing fuel consumption. The trams align with Moscow's green initiatives. The Lvionok Moskva model is fully electric, reducing carbon emissions significantly compared to older diesel-powered alternatives. In 2023 alone, Moscow's public transport sector accounted for over 20% of the city's greenhouse gas emissions. Transitioning to autonomous electric trams will allow city planners cut these emissions in half by 2030. Ticket pricing is expected to remain consistent with current tram fares, which range from 50 to 60 rubles per trip, making it accessible to the general public. 
The most common way to pay is the Troika card. You can get it at the Moscow Metro ticket offices. While the technology is promising, several challenges remain. One major concern is reliability in extreme weather conditions, especially during Moscow's harsh winters. The public's trust in AI systems will play a significant role in adoption. Early surveys indicate that 62% of Moscow residents are open to using autonomous trams, though safety concerns persist. Still, the project's progress shows Moscow's commitment to staying ahead in urban innovation. By the end of 2025, Moscow aims to become the first city in Europe with a fully operational driverless tram system, setting a precedent for others to follow. Moscow's driverless trams are not just a local innovation, they represent a broader vision for the future of urban mobility. As the city scales up its autonomous tram network, its impact is likely to extend beyond transportation, influencing technology, urban planning, and even Moscow's global reputation. While the driverless tram system is currently limited to select routes, Moscow plans to expand it citywide by 2030. Authorities estimate that over 1,200 kilometers of tram tracks will be equipped for autonomous operations by then, covering nearly 70% of Moscow's tram routes. This expansion aligns with Moscow's broader Smart City 2030 initiative, which focuses on leveraging technology to improve urban living. By 2026, driverless trams are expected to be introduced in other regions of Russia, including St. Petersburg, Petersburg and Kazan. These cities are already investing in the necessary infrastructure, from upgraded tracks to advanced control systems to accommodate autonomous operations. The system also prioritizes inclusivity. Each tram is equipped with features like low floors for wheelchair accessibility, real-time arrival updates, and multilingual announcements to accommodate Moscow Moscow's diverse population. These enhancements aim to make public transport more appealing and convenient for all residents, encouraging its widespread adoption. Globally, driverless technology in public transport is gaining traction. Cities like Dubai, Singapore and Tokyo are investing heavily in autonomous systems for buses and metro trains. However, Moscow stands out as one of the few cities focusing specifically on trams. For instance, Dubai's autonomous metro system operates on dedicated tracks, minimizing the complexity of navigation. Moscow's trams, on the other hand, operate in mixed traffic conditions, interacting with cars, pedestrians and cyclists. This added layer of complexity makes Moscow's driverless trams a unique achievement in urban automation. The success of driverless trams could have far-reaching economic and social implications. Analysts project that the automation of public transport in Moscow could boost the city's economy by over $2 billion annually by reducing traffic congestion and improving productivity. Socially, the project aims to improve the quality of life for Moscow's residents. Reduced traffic congestion means shorter commute times, while cleaner air contributes to better public health.